composites provide significant performance and weight advantages over traditional materials. However, this tremendous value comes at a cost in the aerospace industry as the validation of composite designs are more expensive and time-consuming than traditional metallic designs. The aerospace validation process can be described by a pyramid with three tiers. Tier 1 is the material property evaluation level. Tier 2 is the design value development level. And Tier 3 is the prototype validation level. Physical testing is present at each tier. We can see that moving from traditional metal materials to composite compounds increased the amount of effort and cost by factors ranging from 7.5 times to 100 times. With each test costing several thousand to over one million dollars in cycles of several weeks, there is an average increase of 35 million dollars in subcomponent tests alone and nearly one year's worth of extra testing effort at each of the bottom three tiers. This presents a significant barrier to validation by physical testing alone. Fortunately, these costs can be significantly reduced by using the right engineering tools. Let's explore how MSC Software's composite solutions can reduce the cost, time, and uncertainty in the validation pyramid. We will briefly look at four case studies that demonstrate the value of an MSC composite solution. In the first case study, we explore how an MSC composite solution can achieve a high level of accuracy and efficiency when characterizing baseline composite material behavior. In the second case study, we will see how an MSC software solution is used by engineers to generate an effective design of a composite part. The third case study demonstrates the use of an MSC solution to predict the behavior of a stiffened panel. In the fourth and final case study, we learn how an MSC solution is used to ensure that the structure of the entire composite aerospace vehicle meets requirements. Let's begin with Tier 1, the material and coupon level testing and an example by Xtreme Engineering. The results shown here demonstrate how material models based on composite theory can deviate from the real test behavior. Once the initial Digimat material model was modified by considering the underlying micromechanical behavior of the fibers and the plies, the results match the test results so well, it's difficult to see the difference in the chart as the lines overlap nearly perfectly. The next graph shows the comparison of the test results of a composite coupon with the hole under compression loading to the simulation of the same using the validated Digimat material model from the previous test. This simulation accurately captured the behavior of the coupon with the hole, including failure. This MSC solution, now validated, can be used by an engineer to explore the behavior of a large combination of composite layups and geometric features via virtual testing with confidence in the result. Next, let's look at a Tier 2 case study that involves structural part testing with an example from DLR, who studied a variety of angled composite L sections that constituted part of a stiffener. DLR used physical tests and MSC Nashtrain to examine the behavior of these L sections subjected to an unfolding load with the simulation results in red and the test results in other colors. There is a good correlation between the analytical predictions and testing. The engineer may then explore modifications of the L section and the resulting stiffener prior to final testing. The solid black line represents the average test response, while the dotted line represents the standard deviation of the test. MSC simulation falls well within the test data. Now we examine the simulation of sections of the plane above the part level where needs often overlap in tiers 2 and 3 by looking at a case study involving a subcomponent or component. This is an area where simulation is commonly used. This case study was conducted by the research team of CRC ACS. They studied the post-buckling performance of composite stiffen panels. Comparing the experimental data indicated by the square dots and open circles to the simulations run using MSC software's MARC and MSC Nashtrain indicated by the lines, we see good agreement that confirms that the simulation accurately predicts the performance of a stiffened panel 
before and after buckling. Lastly, we'll look at Tier 3, the full vehicle and component level. NASA's goal was to determine the behavior of the James Webb Space Telescope Integrated Science Instrument module metering structure when subjected to thermal distortion. An MSC NASTRAN model of the global structure of the ISM was used to examine the thermal distortion of the structure. The predicted results via simulation matched within a fraction of a millimeter for a structure on the scale of two square meters. The model was also used to predict variability in the structure to determine error bounds on the distortion as shown by the green bars on the chart. Quantifying these error bounds is critical in the world of spacecrafts. MSC products including Digimat, MSC Nashtran, Mark, and Patran are part of a comprehensive solution that enables an aircraft program to save tens of millions of dollars and thousands of man-hours of time. Let us help you get started today.